What is going on, my fellow gamers? Hello. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet a fellow gamer. I am here playing Plants of the Zombies. Or more commonly known as one of the greatest video games ever made. You say otherwise, I'll kill you. Nah, just kidding. Just messing with you. But no, this game is generally really good. I love this game. And in fact, there's a, there's a bit of um, a story, if you will, to this game. So sit down because it's story time with with me, Blue Scout 11. That's how it is. Yeah. And so, when I got my first ever phone, proper phone, everything like that, all the, all the, all that jazzy stuff, I went ahead and downloaded some games. Like I downloaded the essentials, like Angry Birds and Subway Surfer, but there was also another game I downloaded, and that was Plants vs Zombies. I didn't know what it was. I never heard of it before. It was just some random game I found and thought, hmm, that looks fun. I'll try it out, but it's probably going to be really bad, and I'll probably uh, only play it for like three minutes. And then I ended up playing it for hours and hours, days and days, weeks and weeks, months and months, and years and years. And yeah, it's now grown to be one of my favourite video games of all time. It's one, of, it's yeah, it's definitely one of my favourite games of all time because it's a tower defence based game, but it. I, I don't know, it's hard to explain unless you haven't played it yourself. Like, it's it's one of those games that you can't explain why it's good. You just have to experience it for yourself in order to understand why it is good. But yeah. Another also crazy fact. Um, this game is, like... This game came out in, like, 2009, so... Yeah, it's uh, 12... This thing is, like, nearly 12 years old. That's uh, kind of throwing me for a loop a bit. Yeah. But yeah, I love this game. The art style, the music, gameplay, like everything about this game is what you would wish. Now, what they did to, to this franchise in later installments is disgusting. Plants of the Zombies 2, Garden Warfare. Like, Garden Warfare was alright, the games were alright, but the microtransactions. EA. Did it again. They t bought a company. They then decided to fire basically everyone who worked at that company they just bought. And then whatever games that company was making, they decided to destroy by adding microtransactions. Yeah. And that uh, don't get me started on that Plants vs Zombies three. That stuff is garbage. Battle for Neighborfill, like. Uh, when he knows, but um, like all that stuff is just just such huge disrespect to the Plants vs Zombies um, franchise and the series I once loved. I even there's even another funny story I want to mention that is um, my dad, and that was um, my dad saw me playing the game and at first he was like, oh this game looks really stupid. He thought, he, he thought the same like I did. It's like, oh, this is stupid. Um, and then I got him to play it, and now, every single time I see him, I either see him just sitting down, or I just see him on his phone playing Plants vs. Zombies. I've officially got him addicted to Plants vs. Zombies ever since then. But, yeah, I should be talking about the gameplay, about the actual game. So, yeah. Sunflower, very simple, place it down, gives you sun, another form of resources because, you know, if you didn't know, that sun coins, you know, give you the ability to plant plants. If you didn't know that. It's just, it's just gardening 101. Yeah. There's a bit of a strat. There's a, there's a lot of strats that comes with this game. Like, 
when you get these type of games, there's always going to be people that come up with some sort of strats. And the main strat is, for Sunflower, you want to have two rows of Sunflowers. Not one, but two, because that way you can get like a heavy supply of, um, sun, of um, sun constantly. Not only just from the sky, but also from these, these guys. So that way you're never low, and just in case you need a quick plant to save your ass, um, you have enough sun to do it. So yeah, okay, so now we're pretty much set. Now we just wait for the sun to fall, I guess. That's the best way to put it. And yeah, like there's not much really to, to, to commentate. You, I mean, you can pretty much tell what's happening on, on by just watching. I'm not gonna be like one of those YouTubers and like literally say everything that's happening on screen. That can be kind of frustrating, a bit annoying. I like to actually add stuff to it. Like if there's nothing interesting going on in the gameplay, I'll try and talk over it. But if there is some interesting stuff going on, I'll talk. Or sometimes I'm afraid of talking too much. So I'll just stop talking altogether and then I realize I haven't talked at all. And I'm then afraid I didn't talk enough. Am I talking enough? Is, it, is me talking enough? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, this is a very calm game. It's a, it's a very calm game as well. Like, it's not action-packed, it's not insane, but it's calm. It's very much for the casual gamer. You know, for the casual gamers out there. Not me, I'm not a casual gamer. Pfft. Uh, plebs. I'm not a casual gamer. Do you think I am? If you've never played this game before, I would highly recommend playing it. You can get the one, you get the version I'm using, then that's the, the 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 PC version on Steam. Or if you want to get it for free, you can download it on like mobile. But just be warned, you have to deal with an abundance of ads. So yeah, you win some, you lose some. Really, you get the game for free, but you then have to deal with constant ads popping up. try and use the cherry bomb. If you don't know what the cherry bomb is, and this is like your first time ever seeing Plants of Zombies, first off, thank you for choosing me to experience it. Secondly, cherry bombs, um, place them down, a few seconds, they blow up like everything like around them essentially. Right. Like everything in like a 3x3 three three, uh, square radius. So a lot of the time you're going to want to get um, a lot of zombies all in one sort of like area so yeah here, here we go here we go here's a good example well that was too far away but yeah you gotta make sure that the zombies are close enough to it for it to actually be effective probably should have waited until the flag that way there'd be a buttload of zombies coming on the screen So, yeah, anyway, um, yeah. also, um, for people that don't know what this, what this game is, somehow, um, Cone Zombie, he just takes more, um, hits to kill. Um, that, that, um, I mean, this game is very simple in the fact that you can easily pick up what a character does. So you never feel at a disadvantage or you're being thrown with a curveball because, you're always feeling like you're learning stuff. Boom! See, I told you that stuff that those um, 
those cherry berry bombs guys were cool even though much later on I don't you don't really use them I don't anyway I mainly just use the pepper ones sometimes but yeah there are some plants in here you use a lot and some plants you don't it's just one of those things all right five lane that again interesting so um yeah now we've unlocked the entire garden don't know why the zombies didn't decide to attack on the non-planted area because I would have been at a huge disadvantage. So, yeah, if they had done that, I, uh, they would have eaten my brains. Like, you see? Told you. I wish this franchise got more love. Like, it is big and popular and it did, like, sell a lot of copies. But I feel like it didn't do as well as it should have. I feel like more people should really be playing this game. And I don't feel like enough people talk about it. Like, I, I, I think that's it. I think just not enough people talk about this game. And I don't understand why. Like, like... I guess there's not really a reason to talk about it is the main thing. Like, yeah, the game's great and everything, but there's no real reason to talk about it. So that's probably uh, it's probably the thing. Yeah, walnut is essentially a shield. It takes forever for you to eat through it, but it has no attacks. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay. Alright. Saved it. Walnut saves the day. Alright. Now that he's saved the day, go ahead and shoot him. Because he's going to turn into a zombie. Anyone else? If... That is probably a very obscure reference, but that is to a reference of a zom plant as a zombie so, um, skit I watched a. Uh, I've, uh, I've watched a, a, a bit of a while ago. Yeah, he's I'm not looking too happy. <laughs> Put him out of his misery, man. Look at him. He's so sad. It would be cruel just to, to leave him alive now. It would be just monstrous. <laughs> yeah. This game does get a lot more crazier than it may appear. Like, crazy stuff actually do happen from time to time. But there's also a lot of zombies that can make things a bit crazy. Like, there's like one, like a javelin zombie. Like... You can jump over plants, so that essentially renders these defenseless, like these uh, work, like these worthless and pointless, really. <laughs> All right. I have an army. See, the strat works. Watch this. Boom. I'm killing it. I'm a plant vs. zombies pro. I should go to tournaments. <laughs> that would be great. If there was like a plant vs. Zo zombies like tournament. I would kill it. Just just if you know, like, I would, I would kill it. What's also great about this game is it's very progressive, like every single level you unlock like a new thing. Like whether that's a new plant or new ability. Oh, it's crazy Dave! It's crazy Dave! It's hard to do his voice. It's crazy Dave! But you can still just call me crazy guys. Listen, I'm glad it's bad for ya. But first, I need you to clean it down. You should start to dig up those plants. Look at the plants! So yeah, use this. I don't really use this a lot unless I want to dig up some plants just to make things very symmetrical to ease my o OCD. Both guys, good. Now for the plants. We're bowling. Oh yeah, I love these. Why they put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. Now for bowl. 
be a winner. Yeah. This is another great thing about this game is that the mini games are so much fun. You might think, like, just look at this. If you've never s seen Plants as Zombies, this is what the mini games are like. They are the best. Trust me, it's just, it's just nothing but pure joy and entertainment with these things. There's, there's millions of, there's many different other mini games you can like play. Like there's, um, there's one when you play as the zombies. Um, I believe there's one. Um, I believe there's one where you, where you it's a, uh, it's a uh, like, like portals versus zombies or something like that, where essentially you get a portal gun. And uh, you have to use the portals to like um, sh uh, shoot the um, like kill the zombies, but the, the zombies can also use the portals. Like it's really cool. You you, you will get bored playing this game. If if you get bored by playing one thing of this game, then you can just play like one of the many mini games. Nice! Double kill! Last minute! Okay, can I get an explosion one? Nope. Nope. Okay. And ricochet upwards. Let's go. And kabam! Potato man! Yeah.